Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Microsoft Azure Blob Connector plugin for the Magento 2 platform based web stores. Now this particular plugin allows you to integrate the Microsoft Azure Blob Stories to your Magento 2 platform based web stores and helps you to save your catalog media data on the cloud. Now using the plugin the media content is delivered over the content delivery networks to the customers at the storefront. You will be able to enable or disable the connector for the static files, store and download the files from the blob storage server. Also can you note that all of the media files of all types of products are stored and retrieved from the blob storage bucket itself. You can also check the container availability and uh, command line interface can be used to run the commands to synchronize the static content and media files to the Azure blob uh, server itself. Now can you note that for the storage account creation, the access key, account name and for the initial mo uh, module configuration settings you can check the user guide that I have attached within the description of this particular video for a better understanding there. So in today's video tutorial what I'll be doing is I'll be taking you through the workflow of this particular plugin at the uh, storefront and I'll be showing you the product page, the CMS page and I'll be showing you how to upload the downloadable products and the initial configuration settings required for this particular plugin. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I'm at the storefront and I'm on one of the products there that is the uh, Stellar Solar Jacket and it is having some media files now even if it's having a product video there all of that content would be delivered through the cdns uh, to the customers uh, at the storefront and of all of those files be it the media files or the static files uh, would be retrieved uh, from the azure blob server itself so for example we have this particular image if i open that up in another one you can see that it's being delivered through the cdn there and it's from the blob.co.windows.net as you can see and if i go to any other uh, image of the same product as well this is being also delivered from the same section there as you can see and not from the local storage there so it's being delivered from the microsoft azure blob server itself now coming uh, uh, apart from this particular product page as I've shown you the images and even if there was a product video it would be uh, delivered from the Microsoft Azure blob server as well, itself and the media content is basically delivered over the uh, content delivery networks there and you can check that uh, by checking the URL within the, uh, within the address bar there. Now coming to the home page if I have a static file for example I have this particular static file even I if I'm opening this up, it's being delivered uh, uh, or this particular media content is also being delivered over the content delivery networks from the Microsoft Azure Blob server itself from its uh, container. So all of that data is uh, data is being delivered uh, and uh, is being sent and retrieved from the Microsoft Azure Blob servers containers there. So this was the product page and the CMS page even if I check any other one as well for example if I have this one I open this image in another window you can check the URL there for a better understanding of how the Magento 2 Microsoft Azure Blob Connector plugin works there. Now let me close this out let me close this out and now let me take you to the backend panel and let me show you the uploading of a downloadable product. So for that what I'll do is I'll just navigate through catalog and products and on the product uh, section there what I'll be doing is I'll be adding a downloadable product. So here I'll be selecting uh, the product type as downloadable product. Uh, one thing I just wanted to tell you that is that uh, the media and the static files uh, initially need to be manually exported from the uh, files uh, from your so into the Azure, uh, Azure blob there using the commands there and after you run the commands the media and the static files would be uh, sent and retrieved uh, or we can say that retrieved and fetched from the Azure blob server itself from the buckets there and after you have uh, manually exported the files to Azure blob using the commands there then you have to go to the storage configuration and under that you have to change the base URLs as well. 
and the base url changes uh, what you need to do there is that you have to set up the container url uh, within the base urls there and you have to make the changes with the base url and the base url secure there so i'll be showing you that in a while from now so let me get ahead and let me add a product here for example test 3 i'll be adding and let me set the price i'll set the quantity i'll choose the category for the same and let's come down to the downloadable information section here i'll be adding a link uh, let me set it as test link and i'll be uh, browsing a file there so here what i'll do is i'll just upload a file there uh, of a white shirt this is the main file that would be accessible to the customers there now this file would not be saved on our local server but on the microsoft azure blob storage itself and for the sample file as well i'll be uploading one file there uh, this red shirt and I can add the samples as well and I can uh, add those links as well now let me save this particular downloadable product there now this is the process for a new uh, downloadable product that we are going to create but if you already created uh, the old uh, or if there are already some downloadable products within your store what uh, then you need to do is uh, you have to save those uh, products once again uh, you have to go and open them open those downloadable products in the edit mode and then uh, save them once again so what that will do is that would create this uh, uh, microsoft azure blob storage url uh, for your downloadable products as you can see so this product that we just created uh, the files that we attached those files are being now fetched from the uh, azure blob storage itself as you can see blob.co. Uh, uh windows.net forward slash and so on and so forth so this was the uploading of a downloadable product and uh, for the already created downloadable products you need to open them in edit mode and save them once so that uh, these uh, urls get generated there uh, for the azure blob storage and uh, this was uploading the downloadable product now let me take you to the initial configuration settings but before that let me show you the storage configuration section where we need to change the base url so for that we'll go through stores and then configuration on the configuration page so we'll go to the general section under that we'll go to web under web uh, we'll have these two options base urls and base urls secure so here you have to set up the base urls for your static view files and the base url for your media files the same goes for the base url secure secure base url for static files and the secure base url for your user media files now kindly note that when you are entering this particular url here now this is the container url basically so if you have already created a container you can go to the properties of the container to get the container url that container url needs to be entered here and the same container is then used to uh, to what we say as retrieve and fetch the data for the customers there and uh, is, uh, is used to display those things on the storefront as you can see here the same container is being used uh, there uh, to retrieve and fetch the data at the storefront and can you know that after you enter the uh, URL of your uh, container there you have to add this forward slash and the adding this forward slash is mandatory there for the base urls as well as for the uh, secure base urls as well as for your own requirement there now after that let's hop on to the initial configuration settings now coming to the web cool block here you have the azure blob storage now under the azure blob storage you have the general settings and the static view file settings now here we the very first option that we have is to allow the files to save on azure blob so from here you'll be able to save the files on the azure blob by choosing a yes otherwise you can choose it as no to save the files on your local server there itself otherwise uh, it will save uh, the files on the azure blob uh, storage container there then we have the account name and the account key to know more about how to get the account name and the account key you can check the user guide that i've attached within the description of this particular video there now coming to the container name if you have already created uh, what we say as your storage uh, account uh, has been done uh, at the microsoft uh, azure blob then uh, you'll be able to create the containers there if you have already created a container then you can enter that containers name here and you can check the availability of that container by tapping on the check button if that container is there then you'll get the message this specified container already exists 
otherwise if you have not contain, uh, created a container there what you can do is you can enter any name here and you can tap on the check button and this would automatically create the container on your uh, uh, section there and the Microsoft Azure blob uh, storage account uh, section there and then uh, this container would be used to uh, to store and fetch the data there of your store there now coming to the static view files here you will be able to enable uh, this uh, particular functionality for your static view files as well so you can choose a yes for that and then you can set up a container name and now this container name can be the same as the same container name that you have used here otherwise if you want to have a different container name for the static files then you can create a different container uh, under your storage account there and uh, that uh, container name can then be used here under this particular container name section now after making these changes what you need to do is you just need to tap here on the save configuration button to save the configuration settings so yes that was uh, much about uh, the magento 2 microsoft azure blob connector plugin for the magento 2 platform based web stores and i hope it helped you out in understanding the workflow of how you can uh, manually export the files to azure blob uh, by running the commands you can check the user guides uh, that I've attached within the description of this particular video for a better understanding of how to run the commands for the media and the static files how you can uh, change the base URLs under the storage con uh, configuration and how you can set up the base URL using the container URL there and uh, apart from that for knowing more about how to create a storage account creation and how to get the access keys you can check the uh, user guide again there and uh, i hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the workflow of this uh, particular uh, uh, plug in there if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvds.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead